In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to use strip diagrams for multiplication. Here's our learning target. I will be able to create strip diagrams to model the solution to multiplication problems. Strip diagrams can be used to model the solution to a multiplication problem. The value of the box is just as important as the box itself. In order to successfully create a strip diagram that solves a problem, you must understand what each piece represents. We'll start by creating a simple example and then move into some word problems that use strip diagrams to find the solution. Let's start by pulling the tool from the resource box. Right now, this piece of the strip represents a value of 4. So if I drag more of these boxes down to the strip, the value of our strip is changing in increments of 4. In this model, you can clearly see that there are four blocks of four. So if we are going to use a multiplication sentence to represent this, we would describe this number sentence as four times four equals 16. It could also be represented as four plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. Let's try a simple word problem. The Cameron Park Zoo has five groundhogs in the groundhog enclosure. The Oklahoma City Zoo has six times as many as the Cameron Park Zoo. How many groundhogs does the Oklahoma City Zoo have? We'll start by underlining the question. The part of the problem that we need to find the solution to is, how many groundhogs does the Oklahoma City Zoo have? So we'll underline our question. Next, we'll circle the number of facts that are found inside of the problem. We know that the Cameron Park Zoo has five groundhogs. So we'll circle the number five. We also know that the Oklahoma City Zoo has six times as many as the Cameron Park Zoo. So the second number fact in this problem is six. But it's not enough just to circle numbers in the word problem. We have to know what the words, what is represented by those numbers. The Cameron Park Zoo has five groundhogs, so we know that five represents the number of groundhogs. The Oklahoma City Zoo has six times as many as the Cameron Park Zoo, so we know that six also represents the number of groundhogs, but this time these are the groundhogs that belong in the Oklahoma City Zoo. The next step in solving this problem is to draw a box around the keywords that help us pick the operation we'll need to use. In this problem, the part that helps us to figure out our operation is where it's talking about the Oklahoma City Zoo and how many groundhogs it has. It says the Oklahoma City Zoo has six times as many as the Cameron Park Zoo. So we know that Cameron Park Zoo is also an important set of key words because the value of the groundhogs at the Cameron Park Zoo is 5. So the fact attached to the Cameron Park Zoo is 5. This is going to help us to answer the problem much easier.
Now we'll use the resource box to build a strip diagram to represent the solution to this problem. We know that the Cameron Park Zoo has five groundhogs. So we'll just use a CP to represent the Cameron Park Zoo. And we know that the value of the groundhogs at the Cameron Park Zoo is 5. Now looking at the problem, we can continue to build a strip diagram. But we're trying to figure out how many groundhogs the Oklahoma City Zoo has. So we need six times as many as what the Cameron Park Zoo has. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Because the, the Cameron Park Zoo has five and the Oklahoma City Zoo has six times as many as the Cameron Park Zoo, we know we need six sets of five. One way to represent this problem to find the solution is to use an addition sentence because multiplication is really just repeated addition. We can say that five plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals 30. We can use skip counting to quickly get to the sum of all of the 5's. We can also say that 6 Groups of five there or are six two vehicles in the teacher's parking lot at Black GLI Volkswagen and a white. Sorry about the interruption. You can clearly see here that we have six strips of five. So we can also model this solution as six times five equals thirty. The answer to the question, how many groundhogs does the Oklahoma City Zoo have, is 30. Why not grab some Legos or some building blocks or something you can find around the house and try some of your own?